What we're talking about today is coming together to unify the game of golf and to do so under one umbrella. We've recognized that together we can have a far greater impact on this game than we can working apart. Stunning developments today as opposing sides agree to come together. A landmark decision in the world of golf today after bitter legal battles for more than a year. The PGA Tour, Live Golf and the DP World Tour have agreed to merge a decision that seemed to catch everyone off guard, including players. I talked to a handful of players this morning, uh, a couple before the announcement was made, and it was just complete and utter shock. Uh, some very colorful language, some very upset players. I had one player tell me, you know, why would we do this now? Live The Live Tour is dead in the water. It's not working, and now we're going to throw them a life jacket. It's ludicrous. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan held a players meeting today talking with tour members in Toronto, the site of this week's Canadian Open, which is set to start on Thursday. In a joint statement, the side saying the PGA Tour, DP World Tour and the Public Investment Fund today announced a landmark agreement to unify the game of golf on a global basis. The statement went on to say the parties have signed an agreement that combines PIF's golf related commercial businesses and rights with the commercial businesses and rights of the PGA Tour and DP World Tour into a new collectively owned for-profit entity to ensure that all stakeholders benefit from a model that delivers maximum excitement and competition among the game's best players. More details on the merger. The Saudi Public Investment Fund will make capital investments into a new entity. PGA Tour remains a 501c tax-exempt organization. The tour always maintains administrative oversight and sanctioning of events. Both parties agree to mutually end all pending litigation and a process will be established for players to reapply for the PGA Tour after the 23 season, which directly impacts Clovis East grad Bryson DeChambeau. The 2020 U.S. Open winner joined Liv just under a year ago, leaving the PGA Tour for a reported $125 million deal just last month. He removed his name from an antitrust lawsuit against the PGA Tour, but now he may have a path to reapply for membership. As just a freshman, Fresno City Baseball's Mark Baca named first team All-State by the American Baseball Coaches Association. The Bullard grad hit 354 with eight home runs and 36 RBIs in just 43 games. Fresno's Ethan Quinn is headed to the U.S. Open, earning a wildcard bid for winning the Men's Singles National Championship just last week. The 19-year-old SJM grad grabbing the title as just a freshman at Georgia. He joined the likes of greats like John McEnroe and Jimmy Connors. The Open is set to start August 28th from New York City. And back to Live Golf and PGA Tour. To make things even crazier, the U.S. Open starts in just a little more than a week from now oh, wow. mm -hmm. at Los Angeles Country Club. So That will be the water The pot is talk. stirring. Yeah. It is. Yeah, this is wild. Yeah, yeah. it is. Thank you, Alec.